Hello. Hello. Thank you very much for <coughs> joining us once again. Thank you very much for joining us once again in the Retro Shed. I'm Barry. This is Josh. the boy Josh. Now, we've had a really, really... Good weekend. Good week. Actually, cracking weekend. Actually, one of the best weekends I've had since I was <laughs> 11 or 12 years old. But more about that in a bit. Yes. Um, Josh has had a bit of an online hiatus, haven't you, mate? You've been offline <coughs> now for... Yeah. Have you been smoking or something? No, I don't know why I started coughing. <laughs> You sound like you've been smoking 40 a day. So? Josh has had a bit of an online uh, hiatus, which means he's not been able to play any games online. But that doesn't mean to say that he's not been allowed to play <coughs> games that are <coughs> offline. offline. So, <coughs> I'm so sorry. I'm actually really sorry. I don't know what's up. So he has been allowed to play games that are offline, offline which is time. remarkable because he has been discovering how much joy you can get from a game... That's have I though? I think you have. You've been playing what? What have you been playing? Spider Man, which is a crap. Finish that in like a day. Isn't it a good game? Rubbish. Yeah. You've been playing no, it for about two weeks. I've been playing it for two weeks, right? And I got halfway through, right? And that one day, I completed. I completed the game in one day. After that, shows would how you much say I'm you've completed portals. the game properly? Have you done everything? Not every no. single thing. But I'm you've like done the missions. Complete, yeah. But you've done the missions. Okay, yeah. so there's a lot more to for you to do <coughs> if you was to wander around. Um, I have, now this is something I want to talk about for a minute. I started playing uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 yes. Christmas, because I was bought at Christmas, strangely enough. And I've put into this game now I would say about Today's? four hours. Same thing. And I've discovered something. And we were talking about this on our Facebook page of the day. And if you want to interact with us on Facebook, by the way, just go onto Facebook and search uh, The Retro Shared and get involved and have a chat and natter and talk about utter rubbish like we do. Anyway, Red Why Dead... Why say interact? Because when I talk to you and you talk to me, that's interacting. Why don't you say speak to us? I like the word interact. So Red Dead, right? I started playing it um, and it's beautiful. Yes. Oh, my God. It looks Stunning. The snow, the horse, everything about it looks so damn polished. That's what the PS4's good at. It's beautiful. It really, yeah, you're right there. It does look absolutely stunning. And I've ridden on the horse and I've talked. And I've ridden on the horse and, and I've talked horse. some more. And I've ridden on the horse a bit more and I've talked some more. I've killed a couple of deer. I've had one gunfight and I've talked some more. And I've been on a horse and I've talked some more. And oh, after geez. four hours of this... I came to the conclusion that I'm starting to get a bit bored. Now, before everyone <laughs> shouts, I know that's probably a bit unfair because it is it epic. It is. It is epic. And we had this discussion on the Facebook page and a few people said, yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. And some have said, yeah, you need to give it a bit longer. I will. I will give it a bit longer, but I came to the conclusion. And the conclusion is this. As I'm getting older, right, and I haven't got four hours per session to put into my gaming, probably like by some of them his age. Probably you just spend like 15 hours laying on a settee, don't you? No, I've Watching never TV. really sat around the Watching settee TV. except for the evening. I'm always doing something, aren't I? Um, Usually. Cheeky yeah. swine. And it, <laughs> he'll sit in front of his console for four or five hours at a time. Excuse because, me, when's the last time I did that? That's only because you're off the internet at the moment. Exactly. Uh, the games that I'm playing lately are very epic, very beautiful, but I'm finding they drag on and they drag on, which means I have to sit there and do a th three or four hour stint every time I turn my PlayStation on to get anywhere in the game. There's a reason. And that style of gaming does not suit me anymore as I get older. Now, I know people, some people will disagree with me. Some people mm. will agree with me. Gaming of that nature, that Epic, massive. It's almost like an interactive movie. It feels like I'm Mark playing an interactive mode. movie more than I'm playing a game where I'm in charge of everything. It's just an on rails, epic movie. And I'm going to give it a bit more time and I'm going to see whether I get into it. But my point is this. As I'm getting older, you have to grab me within the first 10 minutes and make me think, wow, I want to play this. And if there's too much talking and riding around from place to place for 15 minutes, I get bored. But apart from that, it looks beautiful. And I'm going to stick with it. Basically, has the world's worst attention span. You do. Sp you have such a low attention span. You're I so would disagree. Good. If you give me something I'm interested in, it's hard ah, to pull exactly. me away from it. You need to get to know these... Fi 
<laughs> you need to get to know these things, yeah? yeah but that's my point. You're not listening to my You can't argument. just put it in. You can't just get to the thick of it within 10 minutes because then it'll be over too quickly. Well, that's where, this is where we're, why we're having this discussion. You're happy to sit there for an hour learning all the backstory and learning all about the characters because you've got time on your hand. You've got <laughs> well, more time. I've nothing else in my life. You have got more time on planet Earth than I have at the moment. See, I'm going to be dead before you, you've hopefully. Got, like, so Joshua was bought Spider-Man this Christmas yeah. um, and he's been playing it now for a week or so. Yeah. What are your thoughts on Spider-Man? Because I've watched it's you play really it. It's really good, yeah. I think it looks really good. It's really good. That was a <laughs> review of Spider-Man. What do you think of it? I don't know. I'm crap when it comes to these things. Was it good? Yeah. What did you enjoy about it? It was good. Oh, the graphics good? Yeah. What do you have to do? Good. <laughs> Right, that was Josh's in-depth <laughs> review of Spider-Man. Go out and buy it based on that review. It's good. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so this weekend we went to somewhere that um, I've been meaning to go for a long, long time. And finally we got to go to, this, uh, to Arcade Club in Bury up north in Lancashire. Now, I just want to say for the record that it wasn't really... F- this wasn't for me. This was something I had to do as a father. I didn't want to go. He did. <laughs> this is something I had to do as a father for him because he was watching Stranger Things a while ago, season two, and the bit where they're in the arcade. Mm-hmm. And he asked me a question. He said, were the 80s arcades really like that? And I went, oh, yes, absolutely. And he thought, I want to be there. I just want to be there. And I said, okay, right, we're going to Arcade Club because <laughs> I've heard good things about it. I've never been. Yesterday, we went to Arcade Club. It was good. Was it good? It was good. Better than Spider-Man? Good. <laughs> he walked through the doors of the 80s arcade section and his face. Josh doesn't smile very often, do you? No. No, it's his age. Uh, but he went in there and his eyes just lit up. I'll tell you what, when I do smile, <clears throat> someone takes screenshots. So what did you think? It was good. What were your thoughts when you walked through that door? Wow, this is good. Good is the word of the day. You were quite happy with it, weren't you? Yeah, it's good. Uh, so, <laughs> on that floor, let's put it this way, there are many, many, many okay, machines, machines from yes. my childhood. Uh, we're talking everything from Invaders upwards. So, to there asteroids. was Invaders. Oh, do you know what? He played for the first time ever, and I'm so Proper glad. Asteroids glad. Not the Asteroid. Sit down. Star Wars. Wars. Now... Gave him a bloody migraine. He sat inside the Star Wars machine and he grinned from ear to ear. And I said, what do you think of this? And he went, Dad, this is sick. (laughs) I said, do you like it? It made me feel sick, actually. I said, do you like it? And he said, yes. So this boy, born in 2000-something... Just forget my age. ...has experienced sit-downs. Do you know how many kids your age have played that? Not many. I've never heard of it. Not many. But is it worth going there for? Mm. Absolutely. Now, when I was 13, I was playing Star Wars sit down in a little seaside town on the East Coast called Mablethorpe. And my mum and dad were having a coffee and they gave me a quid to go and play some arcade machines. As you do. I got into the Star Wars machine. I put one 10 pence in it. And 40 minutes later, I was still playing. On 10p? On 10p. When I got out of that machine, I was sick. Not threw up. I nearly threw up. I had a migraine. And it made me ill for two days. I it felt like my head was being squashed in a vice. It was horrible. I was having flashing colours and that. And I was convinced it was because of spending so long focused on that screen. And it made me really ill. Yesterday, I played it for... I must have been on it minutes. for about 10, 15 minutes. Today... I feel so... I woke up this morning feeling so ill. Headache. It didn't I've, help, but I just attacked him from the side of the No, you did well. attack me, but <laughs> I've had a kip this afternoon because I felt so ill after we got home. So never let it be said that video games do not cause some kind of... Headache. Headache. Because they do. Because they do. We gamed from half past one to nine o'clock yesterday. We had a few breaks, but today my head is absolutely spinning. So... Warning kids, video gaming, intense concentration for long periods of time does actually make you feel sick. Mm-hmm. It can do. What was the first game you played? Rolling Thunder. What happened? Got high score. About eight times? About eight times. <laughs> <laughs> now the leaderboard just says Josh, 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 Josh. Josh managed to wipe out the entire leaderboard <laughs> on Rolling Thunder. I am crap at Rolling Thunder. I can just about get off the first level at a push. I got to level five. You got to level five. A level that I'd never seen before. 
He did well at Rolling Thunder. And that's not, and somebody put on our Facebook page that that is like a wow. baptism of fire. And it is. It's not the easiest game in the world to no. pick, is it? You could have chose R-Type Leo, which is quite an easy shoot em up, isn't it? And it was there. I liked R-Type Leo, but it is a bit easy compared to the original R-Type. You need more time. Yeah, I you reckon you'd need an time. entire weekend at that place to, to see <laughs> everything there. on both floors. If you was allowed on both floors. No, which probably, I'm not. You'd probably spend one whole day on one floor and one whole day on another Before, floor, yeah. which uh, is absolutely fabulous. But there's food there. There's beer there. There's Nando's. Um, Nando's oh, Nachos. oh, there was Fortnite there. I got them a win. You did. I'm so, so amazing. It was a 10 kill win as well. It's not bad. Well, like, considering you've had a week off, you were probably fresh and mm, ready to go. Yeah. So it's good the Don't fact... Do you know how long it took me to get the I thought it was oh a positive thing God. having Fortnite there because when all the adults are off playing on the 80s stuff and the kids might get a bit bored with this, they can go off and play Fortnite. So there's, there's, there's stuff for the kids to do and there's stuff for the adults to do. And that, in my book, is a good thing indeed. For you, was it good? what you expected an 80s arcade to be? Yeah, it was actually. So if you think about the arcades that I've taken you into the past few years, like the Brighton one we went to a couple of months ago. That's depressing. What was the biggest difference for you? What what hit you there when you were actual that room? games in there. Yeah, no ticket machines. No. No grabbers. No money pushers. No money pushers, <laughs> yeah, coin pushers. Proper video games. Proper games. And when I get excited about 80s arcades, now you know exactly Why, yeah. what I'm talking about. And could you could you not spend all day in there? Yeah, could. Easily. You could spend all day Parents would go nuts when you were 80s. Like, we take you to the seaside and all you want to do is video game. I'm like, yep. Do you want to come make a sandcastle? Nope. Nope. So, we did some filming. Have a look. Here's a montage. And we know how much people love a montage. Here's a montage. Have a look. This is how we got our arcade club. We'll catch you guys very, very soon. Take care now. Bye. Bye Bye-bye.
Doo-doo-doo!